je déclare le 74e Festival de Cannes ouvert. He's back on the red carpet here at Cannes for the third time running. Adam Driver has become a fixture on the French Riviera. And this year, he's kicking off the festival, starring in its opening film, Annette, alongside Marion Cotillard. This left-field musical comes from cult French director Leo Scax with music from Sparks. I'm off to meet Adam Driver himself to find out more for this edition of Encore in Cannes. Adam Driver, hello. Hello. You star in the film that's opening this year's Cannes Film Festival, Annette, and you're quite a regular here at Cannes. You were here last time for The Dead Don't Die and on the red carpet for Black Klansman, which won the jury prize before that. And after the extraordinary year that we've all been through and the cinema industry's been through, how does it feel to be at Cannes again? Um, it's, I mean, I want to say good, but I don't, I don't feel like that's a a good enough work. It, it, feels, uh, it feels great. You know, uh, um, this festival has always been, you know, uh, my favorite one. And even before I came here, I looked to it as the, yeah, the, you know, the place where great movies are. So um, to be the opening film with this one in particular, with one that was took seven years of us kind of putting it together, it, 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 I have, I have, clearly, I haven't thought about it <laughs> and what it means. I'm just kind of going with it. The man has changed me. What I see in her is obvious. What she sees in me is... Mm, it's a little more puzzling. Now, your character in the film, Henry, has a complex relationship with the audience. As a stand-up comedian, he needs their laughter, he needs their applause. And I wondered how much you identify with that. How important is the public reception of your work to you? Yeah, I guess it's important. It's, it's, I, I don't have any answer to that. I, I mean, it's, it's good if they uh, like it, but at the same time, it's not really... It, or if they relate to it, but it, it's not, I don't think it's something I think about when we're making it, it whether people will like it or not like it. Um, I mean, except, but you know, I, I, I'm not trying to pretend that acceptance isn't something that uh, uh, is something that you look for or that validates you and gives you confidence, but I don't know that that's necessarily a, a good thing. So I, I have uh, no no answer for that. I I, I, uh, I think that's something that you uh, think about, uh, you know, one of those things that you think about for a long time and never come to an answer, but, which is a big category of things. But uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't written really as a commentary on Hollywood, but just as one element that the characters kind of reflected more of what we feel is like a modern attitude towards towards celebrity, especially the way that that Adam's character, Henry McHenry, is presented as kind of being kind of anti the traditional happy comedian, but just being kind of angry. I mean, that, that kind of represents more of what is going on nowadays in Hollywood, both both as an actor, but also as a comedian. Honey, you're always dying. Hey, Henry, how about a smile? Over here! How about a smile, man? Hey. Give us a smile, man. How about a smile? Give us a smile, we need a free piece. In the free, in the free. Now, as well as starring in the film, you have a co-producing credit on Annette, and I wondered what it was that want, made you want to throw yourself in so wholeheartedly on that project, and how you found the experience. Oh, I like the, that part of it. It kind of forces you to think practically 
in while making something that's very abstract. It, somehow in a film set, the actors are very um, removed from having to exercise that part of it. And uh, I kind of enjoy knowing the text, the technical obstacle that you're kind of up against of, you know, the, you know, pigeons are migrating. So you only have, you know, 15 minutes to get a shot, uh, you know, or you run out of money because, you know, uh, I don't know, someone lost it in a bag. It, 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 everybody else on set has to think about that and, and think practically and, and, um, mm -hmm. And I kind of noticed that I was I do that anyway. You know, it's a collaborative thing, so I I don't enjoy feeling that I'm separate or removed from what a director is uh, up against. If anything, I like to know so I can maybe help. You know, I think it's a, a team sport, so uh, it, it just seemed like a natural thing, and I I I really enjoyed it. Leo Scarax is a bit of a cult figure here in France, and I wondered what your perception of contemporary French cinema was before working with him, and has it changed? No, I still look at French films as, you know, you know, progressive and you know, theatrical and beautiful and, um, you know, all things that would just sound like platitudes. But uh, Leos, I think, is one of the greatest directors of all time, and, you know... Uh, to work with him on this was an instant yes, you know, uh, just because I just love his films. They, his actors seem to have incredible freedom in them, and then working with him, I guess I've learned that that's true, but there also is in, um, a managing of of when to uh, push that freedom and when to, um, you know, rely on heavy choreography. In, in the, in, and I enjoy that part of it too. It's there's no right way in doing something. You know, they, it may you know it's captured captured chaos. And he has a good way of knowing when to of balancing those two, almost simultaneously. And every and every time he seems to change the way he's working on the film within working on the film. You you come in expecting something, and he's he's set it up to be completely different. Also work with people who would be cited as references or heroes, Spike Lee, Martin Scorsese, and uh, Clint Eastwood. When you were younger and getting into acting, who were the people that were real references for you who made you think, yes, I want to do that for a living? Uh, Director-wise? I mean, Scorsese for me was the, the top of the pyramid as, as far as his films and how he talked about them and um, uh, as someone who was a uh, a uh, huge inspiration to me, but you, I mean, you're right, all of those people that you just listed were, you know, Spike's movies, Jim, Jim's movies, Soderbergh, the, uh, you know, I, I've been really lucky to work with uh, people that made me want to do it. And I believe that you're not a fan of seeing yourself on screen. Will that change for Annette? No, 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 no. I, I mean, I've seen myself on screen before, I just don't, uh, I don't have a phobia about it. I just don't. Uh, it doesn't seem to be helpful. You know, uh, my responsibility I feel like is when we were making it. And um, some people can watch themselves, and it's a good thing. They notice a habit or um, something that they want to do that they didn't think was working that actually was. Or, but for me, it's it's permanent. It's film. It's very weird that way, where you do something instinctual or for a brief amount of time and then it lasts forever. Uh, so when you watch it, um, I can't help but notice the, all the things that I want to change or I would have, but I, I have no control over it. So I try to set boundaries over what I can control and what I can't and not drive myself or everyone else crazy with uh, what, you know, what could have been, it, you know, it, it's, plus I, I, I know from theater that you can do it a million times and always the the last performance you could do it for seven seven shows a week for months and the last one is always the best um you know for whatever and uh i i don't want to 
be responsible for cherry picking what you know what the story is that's a director's job but my my i was only responsible for showing up and saying the lines and um and then if there's any problems with it it's their fault you know <laughs> not, not mine adam driver thank you very much right. for your time thank you very much Thank you.